Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and thank you for tuning in to the fourth part in the facial rigging tutorial using Python in Maya. Uh, I've got a bit of a cold, so if I start making weird sounds, you know what's causing it. <laughs> um, today I want to talk about adding in controllers for all these uh, joints, setting up the point constraints where needed, and hopefully also get into the actual adding of the multiply divide nodes, but we'll, we'll see how far we get, right? Maybe I'll just put that in a separate video because it's rather complicated. So making the controllers is, in theory, easy, but there's always a but, right? Um, let's just paint it out real fast. So what I kind of want to do, right, is I want to have controllers here. For example, this is the mouth. Um, and it would be kind of cool if there's a big controller over here, for example. And if I move this one, this direction, all these joints also move, right, in a certain amount. So if I move this one with, with one, for example, that this should be like 0 0.7, beautiful, 0 0.7, and this should be at 0 0.2, and this one a little bit higher. So what you would normally do, right, in this case, you would just grab your amazing control over here, and you have your, you have your main control over here, Let's put it over here, actually. And then you would add a multiply divide node in between, and let's say about 0 0.5, let me just grab this translation here and just plug this in there and then the output here should be put into the actual control, right? That's how you how we usually do. But that means that if you do it like this, we can't actually move this control anymore because it's locked, right? Because the um, um, translation is locked by the multiply divide node, which is what, not, what we want to have. So we want to be able to control this. So what we can do though is we put this controller into a group, right? And then we um, grab the output from our multiply divider, put it into the group itself. So that, that group now moves the controller, but it still gives us the option to actually move the controller itself if you want to. So you get a, a, a layer of movement that you can add, so you, 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 so you can fine tune the animation where needed. So let's just start doing this. So let's back, go back to Maya and see if I got the correct screen, I do. So in our controller function, we added last time as well. We could just now start doing stuff. So let's first, since we're lazy, right? We're gonna again make the sides array or list, depends what you want to call it. Again, with left and right. Okay, and then we just go through this. So for side in sides, done before. Our next step would be finding all the joints corresponding to that side. So we can now say all joints. Again, just use base on ls. Then use face rig and then underscore um, plus the side in this case plus anything on that side, keeping everything right. So this is nothing new. Oh, I just touched the microphone. This is nothing new. This is all the all the face, uh, all the joints that are called this way. So the next step would be to go through all of them. In this case, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put this into Joe uh, in all joints. So we're gonna walk through all of them, right? So next step would be creating the control itself. So we're gonna save here, I'm gonna make sure the tabs are correct. Yeah. Control again. In this case, I'm gonna make a poly cylinder because they look kinda of cool. And then you need to input the, in this case, the radius. I'm gonna make it super small. I'm gonna make the height even smaller. Um, so we'll see it 0 0.001. Then we also need to define the axis on which it's gonna be built on, so to speak. So you have the x, y, and z axis. Now x means it's flat on the ground. Um, no, it's 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 rotated to left or right. Y is pointing up or down, and Z means it's facing towards the camera or facing away from the camera. I kind of want to have that right. I want to make sure that our uh, control is facing towards the camera. I'm gonna set gonna set uh, I'm gonna set the X to zero, the Y to zero, and the Z in this case to one. So it's facing the camera. Then I'm gonna set the name. I'm gonna give it face control, and then underscore, and then I'm gonna again do the same trick here. So I'm gonna convert my joint to a string, then I'm gonna split it after the face rig on the score, like this. And I wanna make sure that I get a second object in the list. Now, if, in case you forgot, so let's do it here real fast. Say for example, you've got a joint called face rig on the score block, right? By doing the split, we say, okay, we're gonna split this after the face rig on the score. So I'm gonna turn this into two strings. But this is the first entry, this, this is zero, and this is the second one, so this is going to have the entry of one. 
that's why we add the one in the brackets near over here okay so now as i just mentioned right we need to put this into a group otherwise it's not going to work so i'm going to make a group straight away and that's going to be an empty group with nothing in it so far so em is true then the name is going to be same similar so i'm going to say group face control again uh, plus join to a string again we're going to split it and then again the same thing face rig underscore uh, and then again the second one in the list there you go now i want to move it based on the position of the joints right so they're actually on top of it so we need to find the first so joint position Again, we use the base form of this form here of Joe. We want to query Joe, we want to get the translation from it, and we want to make sure it's in world space. There you go. Now, because I'm moving stuff around, so in this case, we're going to move it first to group. In this case, I'm going to grab my chart position and zero, and one, and two, and control. And this is going to move it exactly on top of the joint. Which is not ideal right so i want to make sure that it's always visible and it's not going through the mesh for example so i'm going to offset the set axis by a tiny amount of 0 0.01 and in this way we make sure that it's not poking through it in any direction nope. and i'm going to do the same thing for a control group like this okay let's see if this actually works right real fast let's see if it compiles And now we've got a nothing at all, apparently, because I've got to do something. All charts is not defined. Well, oh, my bad. I made a typo. Rise again. There you go. Every joint now has a control that's uh, attached to it. By now, they're not doing anything. They're not, they're not even parented towards the actual group itself, so that will be the next step. So I'll do this. Uh, undo. Okay. Next step, we kind of want to parent our control to our control group, right? So next here, I'm going to paste our parent. Now, the control itself, you will think you can do it like this, right? But it doesn't work. I'll show you that it doesn't work. It's real fast, and we should see a big fat error. Or not. So let's grab this one. And now it actually works. <laughs> we get a lot of errors here, right? Um, well, there are no errors, there are warnings, and they actually have a purpose. Um, because right now, what we're also trying to do is we're, we're trying to parent the shape of the group, which is not allowed, right? The shape cannot be parented because then you get the error of the underworld. So what we need to do here to avoid that error is we need to. Um, the base of ls again and then we're going to find the control but then we're going to make sure that the type is a transform and since and since based on ls returns a list we need to make sure we get the first one in the in that list itself so this way we actually parent the transform and not the shape to our group now we shouldn't see any warnings at all okay, nothing happens here okay Okay. So next up, I want to make sure that my IKs are parented or point constrained to the actual controller because the eyes, right, they, they actually get a, I'm just going to show it, they get a point constraint, right, but they get an IK handle over here. I kind of want to make sure that my controller over here controls this IK handle. So that'll be the next step. So we can do this quite easily. We can actually search in this case in Joe if if Joe has a certain term in it, in this case, we can say, um, if I list in Joe, right? So if it has a string with I lit in it, then we're gonna do something. Because I do this for the reason, um, because we actually have the joint, right, over here, actual joint. But we also have a rotate joint, oh, rotate joint. And they both contain I lit, right? You can see here, they both contain I lit. I also want to filter on a rotate joint. So if there's also a string in there with a rotate joint in Joe, then do nothing, right? And then else we want to point constraint this. So paste dot point constraint this one. 
And then I want to make sure that I proxy save my controller, so in this case the face underscore ik plus string drop. Like this. Now if you want to like, what the fuck is the face ik? Well we get it here, right? We get it from the icon strings over here. So we actually add it here, we call it face ik. That's why. Let's test this out real fast. Should work though, but to make sure. We have this one over here, now you can see we can actually start moving the actual eyelets, all of them. Cool. So that's the first step, right? Let's let's add the eye controllers, right? Because I also want to be able to aim my eyes so I can look down and up and left and right. And I'm going to do this the, the very difficult way. <laughs> um, you can also just use like a, uh, sil uh, like a circle and just squash it a little bit, but I kind of want to do a little bit more fancy. So I want to follow the actual shape of my joints. Right? So I want to make a curve based on the shape over here. You get the actual look of the feel of an eye. Now to do this, we need to get the position of those actual joints, right? But we only want to get the position of the joints over here, and again, not from the eyelids itself, right? So we check it here, right? So if there's a rotate joint, we ignore it. Everything else, in this case, we want to do it over here, right? So same thing for getting, getting the position of those joints, we want to do it inside this point over here, and not get the position of the rotate joints. I'm going to make an empty uh, array here for the left side in this case. So let's uh, say I control position, so empty array. Same for the right side, also an empty array. Now I can check here as well if there's a thing called in here that says left in Joe, then do something else, do something else. In this case, this should still be here. The reason why I'm doing this because um, I'm separating this because you, you want to avoid getting um, well I'm going to show you what so it's going to start right so it's going to for side side so it's going to do left first so that means that the right side will still be zero and then for the second time it's going to do the right so then it will actually fill up the right list so if in this case I'm going to check to make sure that we don't fill the right uh, this one with the values of the left joint positions I say here if there's if it's on if there's a left in here then I want to append my eye control position don't append and in this case I just want to get the third position over here so it's an extra check um, on this now this is a little bit weird because um, I want to store three values in a single uh, index of our array so we want to make sure that we use the brackets over here like this so this means it's, it's going to be um, single variable which has three values so in this case I'm gonna put it over here and then again I'm gonna do it like this right this is gonna be the joint position zero and then outside bracket we're gonna do the same thing here and the same thing here right one and then two so again we, we create a single entry in our list over here in the left eye control position, it's a single entry, but that entry has three values, in this case, x, y, and z value. Do the same thing over here, I'm just going to copy paste this real fast. And I'm going to change it to the right side. Right. Okay. There you go. So now it's, we can actually start making the um, um, curve itself, sorry, <laughs> I could think of the name. And I kind of want to do it outside my all joints loop, right? Otherwise, it's for every single joint in there, it's going to make a controller for my eyes. It's not really that helpful. So I'm going to make sure that we're inside our four sides uh, for loop, right? Okay. Now, since it's going to execute this twice, that's going to mean that the left eye control position will be filled, but the right eye control, uh, control position will be empty the first time it goes through the list. So I want to make sure that they're both bigger than zero. So I control position. If it's greater than zero, then execute it. Same for my right side as well. Make sure that's bigger than zero. Otherwise, uh, this part over here is going to crash, right? Because the right side position will have zero entries the first time it's going to go through that list. Okay. Then we're going to make a I controller here. 
control and then we're gonna make a curve again so based on curve and then we're gonna set, get the position like this we're gonna set the degree to one and then the name is gonna be that's will be a cool name uh, face control left since we're hard coding is I a like this. okay there we go so now we need to do the expositions of, of those curves, right? That's going to be a little more trickier. But at first, we're just going to start here, right? With the left, control this one over here. We want to get the first one that's going to be zero, right? So we're going to do this here. Um, zero. Next is going to be the one, this is still easy. Then we get two. Then we get, oh, that's not going to work. Comma, there you go, that's better. Two. And then it's gonna be three. three. And then we have four. I think I have one, yeah, there it is. Four, right? So, this should not work. Yeah, I probably forgot something here. I did, there you go. Okay. Now I gotta indent, yeah, because this part here is empty. Okay, so let's think about this, right? So we go through, let's make let's go back to paint. So uh, so got this this over here. I think there are five of them on my head. Or five. I think there are ten in total, right? So this one is zero, this is one, two, and this is four. But this is five. Right? Six, seven, eight, nine. So the logical thing would be to do, right? We go from zero to one, two, three, four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? But then you get this something over here that's gonna go like this, and then it's gonna create like this, right? We don't want that, so we wanna go after four, we wanna go to nine, eight, seven, six, five. So we're gonna call basis real fast, and come here as well. So next one is gonna be nine. Then we're gonna do eight, and then we're gonna do seven, six, five, and then one more. I'm gonna go back to my zero position. So it actually closes loop, right? Otherwise it's gonna do like this. Beautiful, 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 and then it stops here. It's kinda of sad, so I wanna like Go on and to the, the zero one, the first one. Okay, let's test it out. Don't think I have any errors. I do not. Um, test it out real fast. We've got to make the locator. Question is, I, you can see it right here. I'm just going to isolate it real fast. This is kind of cool, right? Let's go. Beautiful. Okay, so let's undo all of this. I'm gonna copy paste this for the right side as well. And this is just copy paste. The only thing we're gonna change is the left eye control position to right eye control position. That's the only thing we're gonna change. There we go. I'm gonna turn this into R. There you go. And then copy paste. A little boring. Oh, where am I? Over here, there it is. There it is. Beautiful, right? Let's do this again. Let's test it out. We should now have two of them. Real fast. Not because I get an error. Wide index auto range. That's odd. This happens, right? Now we're going into the different debugging part. Um, this is spelled correctly if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. We can just test here, right? See, we can just like um, print out the length of this case r. I'll move it down a little bit so we can actually see it real time. Zero. Okay. It's kind of weird. Because we tell it that if it's bigger than zero, then do something. 
Let's have a quick look on which line is 319. Yeah, but this shouldn't even happen. Oh, I know why. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. <laughs> so, we kind of want to check here to see if the length. I'm so stupid. So, if the length. Of our list, uh, <laughs> of our list, is bigger than zero. I'm stupid. I, I apologize. Now this should this should work fine now. There you go. Now two controls for the eyes on exactly the same location, which is perfect. Okay, one more time, because you can see right the pivot point is all the way down here. And this is not really helpful for moving the actual eye. So I kind of want to make sure that it's actually centered around the actual object itself. Um, and that's easy to do. You can just do it beneath here. You could just say, uh, based on X-form, in this case, I control, and then you can say, center pivot is true. And now it's center pivot around the actual eye. Perfect. Easy. Right? Okay. Let's go even deeper. Um, let's add the big ones right now. Um, let's start adding in the big controllers. So we're gonna do it outside the joint for loop over here. I can push it from down here. Um, so I kind of want to be in the middle. Let's start here at the mouth. I want to be in the middle of this one and this one, right? I want to be over here, exactly in the middle, because that looks kind of cool. So what we need to do is we need to get two positions, right? So the, it's going to come up called upper control position one and two and two. So this one is, we're going to use it. So we're going to get the, oh, not the base, but base dot x form. And then we're going to find the base dot ls. In this case, it's going to be a face rig. Plus the side again, so it's useful. And then the upper mouth, number three. This one, Q is true, T is true, plus this is true. I got this real fast. So the reason why I'm doing this, right, I'm gonna show you a little bit. This should be smile muscle. I'm gonna show you why in a little bit. Smile muscle, uh, two. right. So upper mouth three. That's um, this one, small muscle two, that's gonna be, and this one, right? So I get the position of those two joints. That's the only thing I'm doing right now. But please tell me where you are in space, that's it. Okay, so again, we need to make a controller. So I'm gonna co control this upper uh, mouth control. Again, same thing here, we're gonna make a poly cylinder. Cylinder, we're gonna do the race a little bit bigger this time, right? So you can actually distinguish between type controllers. So H is similar height. Uh, again, the axis we want to make it uh, facing the camera. So 0001. And the name of it, what shall we call this? Um, let's call this face control um, plus side mouth. Corner. Yep. Like this. So it's gonna make two of them. Um but it's just just gonna make them right now. Next up we need to actually move it, and this is actually kind of fun. So we need to get the uh, distance between those three objects, right? And the or those this is those two objects on every single X. So we're gonna make a um new variable distance. And in this case, again, I want to store it in a single value, right? But in a single entry, but it has three values. Again, those brackets up here. So again, we want X, we want a Y, and we want a Z like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the X position of this bad boy, number two, zero, and I'm going to do it minus the one, like this, zero. Yeah, so we grab this X position and we just do minus the other one's position. That's it, that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna do the same thing here for Y 
and the z axis. So I'm going to copy paste this real fast. So this is going to be one and one, and this is going to be two and two. So this is now the distance between those two joints, right? That's the only thing we're doing. Then we're going to move it. So we're going to move the actual object. In this case, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to grab my upper control position one. Then I'm going to grab my, and then I'm going to add, I'm going to offset it with the upper mouth distance zero, so the x divided by two. So take the half of it and do that. That's it. That's all. That's the only thing we're going to do. Then again, uh, we're going to do the same thing for the minus uh, for the y axis. Sorry, similar thing here. Oh, I've got a bracket. Um, oh, I should also say that this is zero. How about zero? This is going to be one and one. Oh, one. And then last one is going to be the z axis. But since they're both on the same level, right, you, there's no real point of doing this part over here. So I'm just going to offset it again. So make sure that's a little bit uh, further out in space than the actual control. Are. And then upper mouth control, this one. If I didn't make any typos, of course I did make a typo. I think I forgot something probably somewhere. Where did I do it though? Did I fuck up somewhere? It many times actually. Should have two. Should have two. It should not. No. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Like this. Yeah. And this one should not have a bracket at all. There you go. Okay, let's test it out, right? It should now make a big control right here in the middle. It actually does that, so okay, of course. It does not, right? So where is it? It's right over here. Whoa, where are you? Right over here. So the X, a little bit over top only. Let's do this on the X axis over here. We need to fix that one. But the position itself is good, right? So in, in between, you can see, right, except for the set axis. So let's grab it, let's undo this. Oh, undo, yeah, there it is. Okay. So, oh, yeah, that makes sense because we didn't. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm an idiot. Type on. Okay, let's take it out. And ah, puff, there we go. Perfect. So this one will control like these ones over here. All the ones. So I'll do this again. Um, again, we want to put this into a group, right? The reason why, um, because we also want to be able to move it with that. When you move the head, it should also move the entire object, right? Would be kind of helpful. So again, I'm going to put this one into a group as well. Um, same thing. So I'm going to make an empty group again. EM is true. Again, we're going to put this in, in a group, uh, face, control. Plus the side mouth corner. There you go. And then again, we want to parent this. So, same thing, base of parent. Again, we're going to grab the base of LS. Then the upper mouth controller over here. Type is so a little bit neater. Transform. You want to make sure they get the first one in the list. There you go. Um, and then you want to put it into the upper control group, right? So we put this into a group real fast, upper control group. And again, if you don't do this right, and we actually parent this towards the head, you can't move the group anymore or the actual control anymore. So which is why we, we, we create like, like a nest, actually prevent from doing this. Okay. So. Do you want to move the group? Yeah, if you want, you can move the group as well in this case. Um, not really that interesting because you do the same thing here. Actually, let's just do this real fast, right? Why not? Actually, let's put this here. Okay. okay. Beautiful. And then we, of course, need to make sure that we face transformations. And uh, you can do it now. Actually, I'm going to do it later on so I can do it all at a single time, right? So I could just say, get everything with the name group face and just face transformations, a little bit easier. 
Um, okay. We also want to have one for the cheek. Same thing. I'm just going to copy it from my original code that I've done already. There you go. It's the same thing. Ex exactly the same. There you go. So this is the mouth corner. I'm just going to add some comments to this. Cheek. I've got a bit of a cold here. Nice. I'm just going to move this a little bit later on. Let me do this here as well. Okay, let's also move to the group. It's kind of sexy, so why not? And then we parent it again. Same thing, nothing changed, exactly the same. Okay, then we do the same thing for the eyebrow groups as well. And let's grab all of this. You can't see this, but it's there. Okay, and these are the eyebrows. Uh, eyebrow. Same thing, in this case, I had two, one over here, and then the one else in the center of this. See if I didn't fuck it up. Test it out real fast. Control and control. There you go. We have one over here. This is the main controller. This is the main controller. One over here. Oh, one over here. And one over here. That one. So I also want to make a button in my um, like a switch that turns off all the small ones and only only leaves the big ones or it turns on again. Let's later. Let's fall away later. Okay. This works fine, right? So we're almost done with controllers. We only need a couple more. Um, I want to add the um, the control for that has all the uh, switches in there, like turn off um, the small controls, etc. I'm gonna make a big one over here. I only want to do one of them though, so I'm not gonna go outside the for loop. I show you the outside the for loop over here. And then I'm just going to cut bases again. Um, this one over here. This one. I don't think that the steps are correct. Oh. And one more indent, unindent. There you go. Good look. So it creates this cross over here, right? And I just added here a secondary show secondary true or false. I'll show you uh, how I did this. And uh, I'll do this real fast again. One more time. There you go. Yeah. So I just make it here, right? I'm gonna add some more tabs here, some more enters. This one here, right? This is just the actual shield the object. And I add, add, add an attribute here. So secondary is the type of enum. And then the enum is false and true. You can add 100 of them. You can add something here like uh, column, maybe, if you want to. In this case, I want to have true and false. Again, make sure it's set to keyable, otherwise, it's not going to show up. And I just move to pivot point. Um, I can actually do this. It's a little different. This is. A little bit more difficult uh, based on its form. And it's going to be face control and CP is true. There it is. Okay. And let's freeze transformations like this. Oh. See so it didn't fuck up anything. No. Okay, let's test it. No, there it is. So this just has, you know, that's it. See that a little bit more or less offset on. Something like this. Okay, there you go. That's it. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna make a new video for the utilities. This took long enough. <laughs> so this is a lot of code, right? Um, it's all, everything is the same, right? It's just code basic. You, you change the variable names, and that's pretty much it. So next time, 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a function called add utilities self and void um, and then what this is gonna do oh, I should probably add does this actually work? Wow. Oh, there you go. Yeah, fuck that. Um, this is going to add all all the uh, multiply divide nodes, and then we're going to set them up. So you'll see this. It's going to be it's going to be amazing. It's just going to be amazing. Um, so stay tuned for the next one, and um, I hope to see you again soon.